I haven't touched a ball since day 31. Today is day 75, so that means I haven't touched a ball in over 40 days. On day 48, I could only join a pro team in a non-ball warm-up. On day 50, I could only watch from the sidelines as train affected players played in the showcase. On day 69, I could touch the ball, but I couldn't complete the session because my Achilles got too sore. So now we do it for real. The challenge today is if I can complete 15 minutes of football. 15 minutes of football drills with my Achilles coping with it. If my body can't handle this, that means we're gonna have a hard, hard time progressing with this challenge. And as it is day 75 today, we gotta get this right. All right, let's go train. <laughs> Now, the first challenge of today is going to be finding somewhere to train. It is a Monday night and the football season is back on full swing. So I've got to find somewhere. Hopefully there's available space. Because I don't know about you guys, but Monday night, busy time. Let's have a look at this field if it's free. Ooh, we might be good guys on the first attempt. Ooh, let's see, let's see. No one's gonna kick us off. It doesn't look like anyone's gonna kick us off. These guys are putting their boots on right now. I think we're good, man. I'm lucky today because over there, you've got a teams over there that just doesn't look possible. And then you've got teams over there, so it just doesn't look possible. So this is great. Got most of the field to myself. Hopefully there's not some team that comes here and kicks me off. But hey, look at this. Got a wall too. I love this. Yes, let's get that training started. All right, guys, it's day 75 of the 100 day challenge. And today was the first time in 40 days I touched the ball again after dealing with his Achilles tendonitis. It's been a tough road, but today I was finally back on the pitch. I started the session with a focused warm up to ensure my Achilles was ready for the workload. So this included calf stretches, rolling out the calves, isometric calf raises. I went through two sets of each exercise, taking about 10 minutes in total. After that, I did a few minutes of activation exercises. So like slouching split squats, frog hops, and leg swings. These are some of my favorite exercises to get the muscles fired up. Next, I moved into running drills. So I did six sets of 40 meter runs at 70% pace, followed by four sets at 80%, and then some acceleration runs. The pace was controlled. I just focused on building up speed again whilst being mindful of my injury. And then came the football drills and the American football drills literally came on the field as I was starting these. So this was interesting. <laughs> I like, had to kind of dodge them a bit, but uh, it was cool that they let me like, stay in this part of the field. I thought I was lucky today with the field or maybe not that lucky. Anyway, my favorite part, all right? I started with box turns. So I took this exercise from the Train Effective app, I was looking for some inspiration. And I did three sets of one minute each. So not at full speed, just 70 to 80% to ease back in. The first set felt a little bit awkward, but by the third, I was much more confident. The second drill was T wall passes. So again, from the Train Effective app, these are just designed to get those repetitions in, getting my body used to the ball again. They're just simple passes against the ball. You can see I'm throwing in a bit of a scan there as well when the ball's coming back. And I'm alternating between my right and left foot. So I felt good. And by the end of the last set, I was back in the groove. I wrapped up the football portion with a shooting strikes drill. This was all about control and accuracy, hitting my shoe as the target. So I just kicked the ball up control it's nothing fancy here just focusing on technique and, and getting those repetitions in after the pitch work i headed to the gym i started with some isometric holds for my hamstrings glute bridge pulses and then moved on to calf raises with this leg press machine to build up that strength again the session also included trap bar deadlifts love the trap bar deadlifts it's one of my go-to exercises for the lower body because you can maintain good form when working a lot of big muscle groups in that lower it's something critical when you're coming back from injury unfortunately then bam the gym closed earlier than i expected but i adapted by finishing the workout outside but i did nordic hamstring exercises did some pull-up holds for at least 30 seconds each set and then some ab swings. The medicine ball throwdowns I had planned to do swapped out uh, with uh, these on the bar. A solid finish to a busy day of training. Overall, it's a great session. Challenging, but exactly what I needed to do as I work my way back to full fitness. Football workout complete, gym workout complete. Now, the result of the football. Hmm. I 
I started the workout feeling pretty confident. We got into the runs. I was feeling confident. I didn't feel any soreness. And I thought, we're killing this. And then we got to the football. We're doing really well. And I thought, we're killing this. And then at the end, it just felt a little bit as I was shooting in the Achilles. Now, maybe it's just a little temporary thing. Maybe I won't feel it tomorrow. Maybe I will. So we kind of were really good until the very last few minutes. So let's see how we go there. With the gym session, felt fine, felt good, no issues. Overall though, week on week, I've been making progress. And you guys know, as I was talking in day 71, I set the goals for the four weeks, okay? And week one is integrating the football again, doing football individual sessions. And if I can complete some individual football sessions by week two, which means day 79 to 85, I can reintegrate with the team, which is what we need. Training sessions, team training sessions as well. Week one, it's going okay, okay? I maybe just passed today. And if I can pass the second session of this week, then maybe we're good for the next week. So this is good. It's a good sign, but by no means does it mean that we're going to be good in the next week and the following week. So watch this space. This is what the Achilles is all about. Tendonitis, injury rehab. Huh. If you guys have been there with injury, you guys know what I'm experiencing right now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But after over 40 days of not doing any ball specific training, no football specific training, this was great to at least do three different exercises, do three or four sets of each. This felt really good. Like I was so happy to do this because I was just doing runs and you know how it is guys. You just want to play with a football. You don't want to do lots of running. I know, I know. How do I finish this off with something inspiring? There's Jamie Vardy that's inspiring right now. Ronaldo launched a YouTube channel. That's kind of inspiring, I guess. I'm going to dedicate this session to Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy is now 37 years old. He's still playing in the Premier League, playing 90 minute matches. And he's the ultimate, ultimate story of a late bloomer, someone who didn't make it really professionally until he was, what, mid-20s? And 37, he's still playing in the Premier League. He's got all the money now, he's got all the accolades, he's won the Premier League, played in the Champions League, played for the England squad. He doesn't really have anything more to prove, but he loves the game so much. He's still out there playing in the Premier League, playing for Leicester, starting games, and still making a big, big impact. It's just inspiring to see. It inspires me. I'm going to dedicate this workout today to Jamie Vardy, and maybe even the next one too. Hmm. Maybe I've got an idea up my sleeve. All right, guys, stay effective and hope you enjoyed this day of the 100 Day Challenge. See you tomorrow for day 76. Peace.